Hello, my name is Jim Walters and I'm a test engineer for Agilent Technologies. And today I'm going to talk about the 34980A product and talk about the analog bus uh, that is part of this product. One of the uh, nice features about the 34980 is that you can add additional equipment to the 34980 by uh, connecting signals to the rear of the box into the analog bus. We actually have four different analog buses that allow you to connect up to four different instruments on the analog buses. So uh, when you are testing an instrument um, device under test, um, you uh, normally would connect your, uh, you have multiple places, multiple locations on the um, device under the test that you want to either inject a signal into or measure a signal. So one of the ways to uh, look at all of those dis different points is to use a uh, multiplexer card. In this case, we use the 34921, which is a 40-channel multiplexer card. That's plugged into the 34980. In this demo today, I'm going to show how I can inject a function generator signal into the A1 bus, route that signal uh, into the uh, 34980, and have the signal come out of the uh, 34921 multiplexer card and go over to the oscilloscope. Uh, this is a very powerful feature to allow you to use uh, one uh, stimulus, like the function generator, and have it fan out to multiple places on the device you want to test. Uh, so let me just uh, show you that now. Okay, so this uh, 34980 comes with a built-in web user interface, which is very useful uh, so that you can see the overall overall topology of uh, what's happening inside the box. So as you can see at the top, uh, there's uh, switches that control each one of the four analog buses. So um, I've used the function generator. It's set up to output a sine wave. And the sine wave has been fed into analog bus one. Uh, but uh, you can see on the scope there's no signal there yet because uh, I haven't closed this analog bus one switch. So right now I'm going to close analog bus one and you can see on the oscilloscope that a, a sine wave has now appeared. So uh, now that I have the sine wave on the analog bus, by closing any one of these 20 switches, I could route that signal, that sine wave, to any one of those 20 positions. So I, I've wired up a cable to switch number five. And uh, I'm going to close switch number five, and you'll see that that signal is now coming out switch five. So here's the cable that's connected to switch number five. Stick it in the oscilloscope. And now I'm going to close switch number five. And I'll do an auto scale. And now you can see we have the original uh, sine wave that I put on the uh, analog bus. And now uh, you can see the signal that's coming through switch number five. Uh, so this is very powerful. I could have uh, cables connected up to every one of these 20 switches and route this signal uh, to any one of 20 different locations. OK, I'll turn off the switch. And do another R scale, and our signal's back. Now I'm going to turn off the analog bus. And now you see the signal has been removed. Now you can repeat this same process with an oscilloscope. And uh, that way you can connect any one of these 20 signals uh, through a different bus, and then use the oscilloscope to measure uh, any one of these 20 signals. So uh, that's the, the highlight of this uh, analog bus, is it really expands the capabilities of 34980. And this can take the place of a lot of difficult cabling in a large test rack. You can simplify your cabling and provide uh, different signal uh, sources and different signal measurement devices. So thank you very much. I uh, hope this uh, demo was interesting to you, and uh, I look forward to you using a 34980. Thank you.